this is Comporta. Uh, Comporta is uh, is a travel through memories on our skin, on perfumery uh, based memories from uh, Comporta, which are 30 kilometers uh, of beaches in Liz in south of Lisbon, in Portugal. So it's not, uh, there's no discos of bars, it's uh, super natural, super boho, casual chic. It will be the most important brand uh, in the future, in uh, Portuguese brand in the future, Comporta, the place there. So we just ride the wave of uh, that spontaneous media, as well as, uh, as there is no people at the beach, never. People are on the, the small villages, there is no contamination on the air. So you get very easily the experience of Comporta. That's what, what we've tried to reach uh, in this brand. So we have uh, two lines and the new subline that has been launched at uh, PT and it will start on sales on uh, January. So we have the Millism line the three perfumes uh, on 20-25 percent of concentration it's drawn and the original line uh, for uh, um, four perfumes on uh, eau de parfum on uh, 18 percent with the exception of muda it's uh, 16 uh, 14 percent because the the perfumer did, didn't allow us to put some more concentration so we work with independent uh, perfumers uh, we work uh, with uh, Stephanie Bakouche, uh, uh, Luca Maffei. We also worked uh, work with uh, Beatrice Aguilar and Daniel Josier. And uh, on the new line, which is Moss and the Apprentice, the idea is the dialogue of the master perfumer and his apprentice. is a dialogue with different perfumes from uh, Chris, Car Chris Morris, Christine Carbonell, and Miguel Matas, from, from also editor of Fragrantica. So, um, the best part of the brand are not the juices. The best part of the brand is what we achieve with this bottle. This bottle has been designed and produced by Vistaleg, which is the most important Portuguese luxury brand. And this bottle, as you see, recreates this landscape, which is a landscape of Comporta. So this is the sticks of the woods and the stilton and also the cap on natural wood regards this. It's very rare that the brand, that the bottle of the brand uh, reproduces the concept of the brand on the perfumery because uh, it is a physical issue, not easy to meet. There is, for instance, map of the heart, which met that with uh, the heart on the bottle. And I think we also reach this, this is a 30, uh, 350 grams bottle of uh, uh, handcrafted or semi handcrafted uh, glass uh, we are on the uh, uh, company on details I think we have the best pump which is the best pump for our map tar is the precious 140 and uh, also the packaging is very detailed magnetic uh, lost engraved but we are not a bling bling brand because Comporta is not for a bling bling market uh, neither comported place is a bling bling uh, local. So what we have is some sensible perfumes uh, on the more ozonic drive, like mosquito, mosquito man, or uh, or uh, Rea Salgada, and then we have bold, more dense in order to try to fill in all the, the pyramids. So we have the ozonics, we have the citruses with the res algava. We have also a beautiful uh, um, woody uh, natural from, from sandalwood, uh, from Bayaluca Mafei Palafitico. Uh, I mostly like to refer to Caso. I think Ocaso, it's not good what I'm going to say because it seems that my ego is really high, but I think Ocaso is the most complex white flower-based perfume on perfumery. It's the combination of uh, absolute oil, essential oil, absolute oils from uh, jasmine from uh, Egypt, uh, ylang, ylang from uh, uh, Madagascar and uh, tuberose from India wrapped it with spices, nutmeg, coriander and also uh, bee wax.
It's a super exclusive and the best part of the perfume is that Ocaso means the end of something, the, day, the end of the day. So it has drafted with um, raw materials or scents that smell during the night. During the night we have the white flowers and the spices that we cook. So it's the combination of natural smells on the white flowers and human smells with our uh, way of cooking. So I love uh, the concept and the drive of Ocaso, even though it's the more complex and perhaps the least bestseller which by the way I love that because it's so fucking expensive the, 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 the kilo of essential oil that I prefer that my clients buy the other ones okay I'm also thrilled to launch the Master of the Apprentice and this dialogue on this first uh, uh, section which is uh, called the Beast Mode Wheat as you know Chris Carbonell, Christian Carbonell, Chris Maurice and Miguel Matos are guys from Bold punchy King Kong perfumes and I think that I've tried to redeem a bit and put some elegance on their creations that's what I've tried to put them a little bit out of their comfort zone so I think I expect that uh, this new line is also a success and uh, I hope uh, that you enjoy to try them <laughs>